Well, <laughs> to both of you, I just want to say aloha. Aloha and welcome, welcome. Welcome to this beautiful place. So I know it's a far distance from where you've come from, but it's just a serene and wonderful place to be. Just intimate, just both of you yourselves. Now, as you commit your hearts together in, as husband and wife, it's important that you always cherish a mutual love for each other. You bear each other's infirmities and weaknesses, comfort each other in sickness, trouble, and sorrow. And if for you, Brian, as a husband, that you would always be an encouragement to your beautiful wife. And Brian, she's absolutely beautiful. I'm taken. You are. <laughs> yes. yes. You certainly are after this. After this. After this. <laughs> and then for you, Lauren, also that you'd be an encouragement to your husband as well. Of course. But Lauren, I also want to share this with you about men, especially men from Buffalo. <laughs> no matter how old men get, there always remains a little boy inside. That little boy always needs holding, cuddling, caring, nurturing, loving, giving, everything you can imagine, and the kitchen sink too. Yeah, right. <laughs> They say that when a woman is sick and dying, she still has work to do in a household. But when a man sneezes, he thinks he's dying. So always be an encouragement to one another. And both of you live together as the heirs of grace of life. I'm going to just share a blessing, a prayer, being thankful for the journey that has brought you to find each other, fall in love, come to this moment, and then for the beautiful adventure that still awaits you as husband and wife. Let me say this blessing. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for this most beautiful day and this wonderful place that you've created. We gather here in a spirit of unity with humble hearts. We ask your blessing upon these two beautiful and wonderful souls for Brian and Lauren. We're thankful for the blessings of life, for every family member and friend that has infused goodness upon them. We're thankful for the journey that has brought them to find each other <coughs> and to fall in love. As they move forth from this place, we ask that the road be filled with great abundance of joy, abundance of peace, and abundance of love forevermore. Amen. Brian, I ask you now, we have this beautiful woman Lauren, to be your wife, will you pledge your life to her in all love and honor, in duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with her and cherish her forevermore? I will. And Lauren, will you have Brian to be your husband? Will you also pledge your life to him in all love and honor, in duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with him and cherish him forevermore? I will. Wonderful. As both of you declare a willingness to commit your hearts to each other, we're going to share in the way of the Hawaiian culture. Hawaiians actually didn't use rings to symbolize their commitment of love at a wedding ceremony. Prior to the Western people coming here from Raleigh, North Carolina, we didn't have any metal. So Hawaiians instead used flowers. And there's significant reasons for that. You see, flowers are living. And your relationship is living. The word for flower in Hawaiian is pua. And our children, they're referred to as poor because there's hope that they'd rise up and blossom into a wonderful and beautiful life. Just as your relationships will blossom even further as you deepen your hearts for each other. Each individual flower has its own individual beauty, its own individual greatness. Both of you come to this moment now with your own individual experiences of life, your talents, your skills, your abilities. But as you bring one flower and you combine it into a lay with another flower, its beauty is enhanced all the more greater. And as you bring your wisdom and your heart, and you combine it with your wisdom and your heart, Lauren, then your relationship shall grow all the more beautiful than ever. And then typically for a man's lay, not usually flowers, but leaves, the maile. Maile are short vines that are gathered from the mountain. And as they're gathered, they're woven together in such a way that they remain together. For the Hawaiian people, it symbolizes strength. For both of you, could have dated for three more years, but now you choose to come to a deeper level in your commitment as husband and wife. Brian, I'm going to ask that you turn and you present this lay to Lauren, your beautiful bride. And as you do, we look to her and say these words. Say aloha, aloha. Vau, vau, iaoi. 
love you or him. It means I love you. <laughs> Go ahead. It's wonderful. <laughs> Now listen, I know in the mainland you guys have rules about kissing in a wedding. We do. But in Hawaiian culture, every time you present a lay, it's always appropriate to kiss. So go ahead. And in a Hawaiian ceremony, you guys kiss as often as you want. Okay. Great. Great. Now listen, Brian, I'm going to have Lauren present this lay to you. But before I do, I want to share this. Back in the days of old, the common ordinary man wasn't allowed to wear the maile. It was reserved only for the ali'i, the monarchs, the kings. It's fitting now that Lauren, she's going to present this lay to you. But Brian, maybe for the last time. For from now on, it's the queen that's going to rule the household. <laughs> so will you also say aloha, aloha. vow, vow. iaoi. Now I'm going to have you say some vows to each other, but before I do, I just want to share some things about the journey together ahead. The success of marriage, the beauty and the glory of it, all has a foundation, and that foundation begins with love. Love is a wonderful feeling. It's a great emotion, passion, joy. I see that in both of you for each other. And you're going to share so many wonderful and beautiful moments ahead, sharing your love. Days like this, where you can stroll hand in hand in the sunset, just being thankful for your love for each other. And as the sun comes over the horizon, you wake up in each other's arms and just be thankful for an opportunity to spend another day in your love for each other. There are going to be beautiful moments for you ahead. But besides all of those great and wonderful times, there's also going to be challenges ahead because it's part of life and it's also part of marriage. And it's important that you not define your love only based on how you feel. Because some days you're going to feel great and in love. And other days, you're not going to feel so great. Because we tend to get distracted by things that cause us stress in life. Work, finances, different things. So finding the emotion of love sometimes might be a challenge. It's important you always define your love even deeper than your feelings. To a level that you would always commit yourselves to be patient with each other in love that you would commit yourselves to be kind to one another in love, not to be self-centered, not to be easily angered, not to be rude or boastful with one another. It's the commitment of love that's going to carry, carry you through every challenge that you face. It's the commitment of love that will take you from a valley, put you back once again on a mountaintop as husband and wife. And it's important to recognize this about love, that all of us over time, we have a tendency to take our love for each other for granted. Time just slips on by. But I want to let you know you have an opportunity every single day from now on to strengthen and to celebrate your love for each other. See, sometimes we go through a long, stressful day teaching 8th grade English. <laughs> and then we get home to our door. And we make the mistake of opening that door, bringing all that stress right through the door with us. And then there's turmoil in the household. But every day when you get to your door from now on, it's the time to stop. Stop and say to yourself, you know, I had a long, rugged day today. But fortunately, through this door, it's not my enemy, but I've been given an angel. So before I walk through this door, I'm going to leave behind everything that happened today. I'm going to realign my heart, my love, and my spirit for my beautiful wife. And also for my husband. So that as I walk through this door, I'll listen with patience. And I'll speak with kindness and understanding. And then I'll have respect for the one that I truly love. Besides love, it's important to recognize that men and women, they're a little different from each other. <laughs> which you probably know by now, Lauren. I figured that out. Yeah. <laughs> and as men, we value things differently from women. Men tend to value big toys, big TVs with remote control, sports, hanging out with other guys sometimes. <laughs> women, on the other hand, they usually value other things. They tend to value things like shopping and talking and actually more talking. <laughs> I do talk a lot. I do. You see, on the average, men say 5,000 words a day. On the average, women say 20,000 <laughs> words a day. And all that brings out 
is there is a disparity on how we value communication. But communication is vital to every relationship. So on the one hand, it's important to speak a little less, listen a little more. As long as you're talking, you're not listening to the other person's heart. And then men, Brian, men say less, not because we have less to say, but men have a tendency to hold things in. They hold in their thoughts, they hold in their emotions. Things eventually pile up higher and higher. And appropriately, you're getting married here on an island with a volcano. Men sometimes allow things to pile up so high until one day, boom, there's a big eruption. And Brian, you want to minimize eruptions in your marriage. And the way to do that is to openly and honestly share everything that's on your heart and your mind with your beautiful wife each and every day. Wife, oh my God. Yes, wife. Okay. I'm going to share with you a legend that we have from Hawaii. It brings a good illustration to all of these things. We have the goddess of the volcano, the goddess of fire. Her name is Pele. As she was strolling along the beach one day, she came across a very handsome young man. And she went up to him and said, Brian, you're so handsome, I want you to be my very own. Well, Brian was a little shocked by this. She said, listen, Brian, I'm a goddess and I can offer you all of this paradise as far as you can see. Brian only took a second to respond. As he did, he said, thank you so much for thinking of me in that way. But I have to let you know that my heart and my love is truly committed to the most beautiful woman in the world. And her name is Lauren. <laughs> well, in her rage and jealousy, Pele, the goddess, she turned Brian into a flower. And surrounding us is that flower. It's called the Naupaka flower. And as I show it to you, the Naupaka flower of the ocean, in its full bloom, yeah. it's only half a flower. See, as the legend continues, she also went to look for this beautiful woman. Lauren found her, turned her into a flower, had her live in the mountain. Also as a Naupaka flower. And the Naupaka flower of the mountain, in its full bloom, it's only half a flower. But you see, when you bring the ocean flower and the mountain flower together, yeah. then they become one full and complete flower. What this illustrates for the Hawaiian people, it's always pertinent to your marriage. Regardless of temptations on the outside of you, regardless of challenges, or even being physically apart from time to time because of work or travel, both of you would always choose to come together as one full and complete flower, one full and complete love, one full and complete spirit forever and ever. Are you ready for that? Yes. yes. And as you look into each other's eyes, will you please repeat these words? Say, I, Brian. I, Brian. Came here today came here today to join my life with yours Lauren to join my life with yours Lauren I promise I promise to take you as my love to take you as my love from this day forward from this day forward to stand by your side to stand by your side to listen while you speak to listen while you speak to comfort you when you cry to comfort you when you cry and join your laughter with my own and join your laughter with my own. Fortune may smile. Fortune may smile. Trials may come. Trials may come. No matter what we encounter. No matter what we encounter. I will always. I will always. Make my home in your heart. Make my home in your heart. <laughs> and say, I, Lauren. I, Lauren. Came here today. I came here today. To join my life with yours, Brian. To join my life with yours, Brian. I promise. I promise. To take you as my love. To take you as my love. From this day forward. From this day forward. To stand by your side. To stand by your side. To listen while you speak. To listen while you speak. To comfort you when you cry. To comfort you when you cry. And join your laughter with my own. And join your laughter with my own. Fortune may smile. Fortune may smile. Trials may come. Trials may come. No matter what we may encounter. No matter what we may encounter. I will always. I will always. Make my home make my home in your heart. <laughs> These rings that you're going to present to each other, they should always be a reminder of things. Should be a reminder of the beauty of this place, the beauty of this day. Should be a reminder of how your hearts feel at this moment. Most importantly, wherever your journey takes you in life, these rings should always bring you back here. This is moment here and now and how your hearts feel. The love that you share within right now is enough to carry you through an eternity together. 
as husband and wife. I'm going to ask Brian that you present this ring as you place it upon Lauren's finger. We look to her and say these words. Say, with this ring, with this ring I commit myself, commit myself to, love to love and cherish you, cherish you forevermore. forevermore. And also say, with this ring, with this ring I, commit myself I commit myself to love, to love and, cherish you and cherish you forevermore. forevermore. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say, now you can. <laughs> uh, and now, just seal all things with a great, huge kiss. Go ahead. <laughs> 